Fans of Texas Country Reporter, the 53rd season of the show begins next month with a new host. Joining us is that new host, J.B. Salceda. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So what is it like now that this is now just a few weeks away, maybe a less than a week, so for that first episode to air? You know, it's... it. it I don't really know how to describe it other than big. You know, the, the emotions are big, uh, the objectives are big, uh, the, the travel and, and the distances we're traveling are long. You know, it's, it's been amazing. I think in a lot of ways the experience was, was overwhelming when I got the news. I mean, to be honest with you, I brought to tears when I got the phone I call. I imagine, yeah. You know, um, and it, it just felt like a big responsibility. And so now to finally see it come into fruition, seeing that first episode cut together, I'm just so excited. The emotions, again, it's the words that I use with my eight-year-old, big emotions, you know, and, and I'm having them right now, you know, about uh, this opportunity. Some Texas-sized shoes Texas to size, fill, for sure. <laughs> for sure. And looking forward, you know, this is a beloved show. This is a show that people have followed for decades and in, in love. I was just telling Case, my husband wakes up and watches it every Sunday morning. And, and this is for you a big change, but maybe not necessarily for your viewers because you're bringing kind of the same thing, but just a different face. Yeah, we've gotten a ton of questions about how much the show is gonna change. And the answer is not really that much. Uh, you know, one of the things that we're gonna bring back is, you know, I always loved how Bob would start the show talking into the camera and you felt like you're in the front mm -hmm. seat with him. And, you know, longtime viewers will recognize some of those kind of classic aspects of the show being brought back in a way. And, um, you know, the types of stories that we're gonna tell are gonna be very much the ones that they're familiar with and have seen for a long time. We've got a lot of new equipment, some new cameras, some new drones and things like that. But outside of that, it's, it's really gonna be the show that people have grown to love over the years. And so I, like Christy's husband, watched every Sunday morning with my family before church and Texas history class. I watched it every Friday. Uh, so what does it mean to you to know that there are people out there that love this show so much and now you get to carry on, I mean, going into five decades of this show? I, I'll, I'll use my father-in-law as probably the best example. You know, uh, Gus Cantu grew up in, in southeast of Houston, or south of Houston, and then uh, spent a lot of time in South Texas. And he came up to me after I got the news and just put his hand on my shoulder and he said, you know, if I would have ever been told that at some point in the future my son-in-law would be taken over for Bob Phillips, I would have told you that you're crazy, you know? And it, it really is, um, it, I kind of have these out-of-body moments kind of going like, am I really in this role? Like, is this really my job now? And, uh, you know, and not even just because of what it means to other people, but because of what the job actually is. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bob told me, I called him a couple months ago, and he said, you know, this will be the best job you've ever had. And thus far, that's been true. The people I meet, the things I get to do, it's, it's really incredible. And, and the opportunity I have to go share those experiences with people is just, I, I can think of no other word than blessed. You know, it's, it really is a, a, an immense feeling. You get to tell the stories of Texas, which is so cool because you think that you've seen it all <laughs> and then there's something new and, and something else. How do you guys cultivate those stories? Where do you find those stories? Everywhere. I, I get DMs on Instagram. I get text messages. Uh, you know, my good friend, Jana Lawrence, um, you know, now Jana Kimberlin, her mom called me out of the blue. I hadn't talked to her in probably 15 years. And she had this incredible story about a, a place in, in Huntsville that we're gonna go report on, hopefully in the next few months. But, you know, I tell people that a great story exists everywhere. And we typically can help you kind of think about how we would tell it as a TCR story. But I don't really like the idea that people feel, um, I don't know, nervous about sharing ideas. I, a lot of times people will caveat their, their story idea with, oh, I'm sure you've heard a lot. I'm sure you get a ton of story ideas. And yes, that's true, but we really want the richest soil mm -hmm. to cultivate these stories from. So the more, the better. And uh, so, you know, for everybody watching at home, look me up, DM us, send us those story ideas. We'll tell you how they kind of think about it. Um, and, and really the three main things are, it's gotta be about a person we care about whether it's a restaurant or location, we want to know about who mm -hmm. we're going to tell the story through. Um, it's got to be something visually interesting. We want to be out like doing something, seeing how they live their life. Uh, but most importantly, this show is about bringing people together. So there's got to be some optimism and something positive. There are plenty of things you know, out there to, to drive people you know, apart or to make you feel 
bad about what's happening in the world, and this show is meant to be a speed bump of optimism on the highway of negativity that we can find ourselves on in you know day-to-day -day life. And of course, you're here in Lubbock gathering some stories, so I don't you don't have to spoil anything. But what can people look forward to? Maybe seeing some local stories. Well, you know, the the rest of the state may not be quite aware of how important the High Plains are to winemaking production, mm -hmm. but I was turned on to that in a few ways uh, here recently, and so spent some time um, reporting on that. Uh, there's a really incredible uh, uh, music and, and band poster and, and concert poster designer and uh, printer here in town who's a professor at a little university down the road that uh, I've known this guy for a long time and I just jumped at the opportunity to get to tell the story. And over the next couple of days, we're going to hit up a steakhouse and a barbecue restaurant that was in one of uh, Texas Monthly's uh, top 50 lists. So really excited to, to be spending some time up here. It's, it's great. Was there a first story that you thought of that you wanted to do for Texas Country Reporter when you got the gig? It will be in my first episode, and um, and I can share a little bit uh, in that uh, it was it was someone who meant a lot to me, certainly put me on the path to being here. But even taking me out of the picture, it was an incredible story about an incredible woman, and so she'll be the final segment in the first episode. Awesome. Incredible. And so when does that? It's next month, September. Do you have a date on when those start airing? Yeah. So depending upon where you live, now here it'll be the eighth, since it's Sunday mornings at nine. Um, but in the rest of the state, various parts of the state, it's, it's uh, the seventh. So the weekend of seventh or eighth, um, we tell everybody just go set your DVR, and then um, you know you can always follow up after about a month or so. We start to put some of the segments on YouTube and places like that. But if you want the real time experience, we do kind of tip people off to where we're at through social media. I'm a big social. media media guy. I post on my personal feed, on my uh, Texas Humor account, which is where some people may recognize me from as well, but we're giving some behind the scenes of uh, the back roads of Texas on the TCR account as well. Karen and Abner have been featured on the show. We've got a connection mm. to TCR as well, so we're really excited about it, JB, and uh, really looking forward to it. So thank you so much for being here. Best Appreciate of luck it. on this journey and all of the highways and roadways in, of Texas. Yeah, Congratulations. So Appreciate That's it. awesome. And as you said, 9 o'clock Sunday mornings here on KCBD. We'll be right back.